Hello everyone. Let us provide the solution to this problem. We have 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 72. And we are looking for the best way to deal with this problem, right? And we are solving it completely. So what do we do? 4 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2, then to the power of x. Because 4 is 2 squared, right? Then plus 2 to the power of x. And this is equal to 72. Now, we can always change the, the powers here because... If you have a to the power of b to the power of c, this is the same thing as a to the power of c to the power of b. You can always change the position of the powers since we are multiplying. So this means that we can have 2 to the power of x, then to the power of 2, then plus 2 to the power of x, equals 72. Now, what again do we do? You will see that we have 2 to the power of x in two places. So let 2 to the power of x be equal to y. Now, in place of this, now I'll write y and I see square on it. Then plus 2 to the power of x is now y and this is equal to 72. What do I do? The next thing I will do is to bring this to the left. So I have y squared plus y, then minus 72 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation, and we can solve this by factorization. Okay, sometimes you, you, it is faster for you to factorize, especially if it is factorizable like this. So how do we know it is factorizable? It is factorizable because this 72, there are two numbers we multiply to get this minus 72. And the, two, the same two numbers, we add them to get the coefficient of y, and that is 1. What will the two numbers be? The two numbers will be 9 and minus 8. Because, because 9 times minus 8 is minus 72, and 9 plus minus 8 will give us plus 1. So everything is set. This means that the first factor will be y plus 9, and then the second factor will be y minus 8. So we equate all of this to 0. Now, what again do I do? We obey um, product rule. Like if you have a times b to be 0. So it means that it is either a is 0 or b is 0. Because if you have 0 times b, this will still give 0. And then if you have a times 0, that means b is 0 now, it will still give 0. So we are going to apply this right away to the problem. So we will have y plus 9 to be 0 or y minus 8 to be 0. Now, y from here is 0 minus 9 because 0 will appear first, then plus 9 becomes minus 9 or y here is equal to 0 plus 8. Remember we are to solve this completely. So y now is equal to minus 9 or y is equal to 8. But remember when we say that y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So in place of this y now, I'll write 2 to the power of x and that will be equal to negative 9 right now the question is saying that we should solve this completely meaning that we should find the value of x from here 
to do that, I think, I think what you should do, although there will be no real solution because no real value of x will give you minus 9. But then we can take the log of both sides. So we have log 2 to the power of x equals log of negative 9. Okay, although this will not give us a real solution, but we are directed to solve it completely. Now, the law, there's a law that says the powers can always go behind. We're trying to do what we can to make x the subject. So our x log 2 is equal to log negative 9. Now, what do I do? Since I'm looking for the value of x, I have to divide this by 2 then divide this by log 2. This is log 2, rather. This is going with this now, right? This means that x is equal to log minus 9 over log of 2. Sorry, I wrote out of sight. So this is the value of x. But mind you, this is not a real solution because we are not expected to have log of that negative number there, right? So now, let's go back to the other value of y, where we got y to be equal to 8. So we're going to continue from there very quickly. From the other value of y, we have y equals 8. And I believe that from here we'll have a real solution. So what do we do? Remember when we say that 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. Now, you can solve this in two ways. You can equally take the log of both sides, just like I took before. Okay, now let's take the log and see. If we take the log here, we will have um, log 2 to the power of x equals log 8. Now, the power goes behind like we did before. So we have x log 2 equals log 8. Now, the next thing is to divide by log 2, just like I did before in the first um, case. Now, this will go with this. Now, x is alone and it is equal to log 8 divided by log 2. If you stop here, you are correct, but we can still simplify this. So that x will be equal to log, by the way, 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Then we have this over log 2. The powers can always go behind. So x will now be 3 log 2 divided by log 2. Now the question is, can the log cancel each other? And the answer is yes. Because we are multiplying. It is 3 times log 2. So this and this will go. And now our x is equal to 3. So this is the value of x that truly satisfies the equation, which is um, 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 72, right? If we put 3, we have 4 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3, and this will give us 64 plus 8 which is the same as um, 72. So this is the real solution to the problem. Thank you for watching. If you think um, this is um, understandable, let me know in the comment section.